I entirely forgot. The previous page. Please write your name at the back. Please write your name at the back of your phonics worksheet. And then we can move on to our maths. M2 and M3. At the top it gives you a space to write your name. And then on the next page it doesn't. But you can just turn it around and write your name at the back. Good. Let's take a look. They ask for the date as well. The maths date is 25-8-2020. Odd ghost out thinking sheet. They say Nate rolled three dice and rolled a five, a six, and a three. Okay. He ordered the digits to create the number 635. He rounded the number to 600 and he colored a ghost labeled 600 on the second page. Now... I want us to do this one all together because I know you guys don't have dice at home. So I will be rolling the numbers for you. The first number that we write in, actually, yeah, let's start with our hundreds. First number, one, six, you guys can fill this in. Uh, that wasn't on the four. Good. There's our first number. One, six, four. Now, all of the numbers that I roll, we are going to have to round off to the nearest hundred. So, if we have to round off to the nearest hundred, we first have to find our hundred. Here's our hundred. So, this is the one that needs to be rounded off. This, the one after it, is the one that we look at to know whether this one stays the same or goes to the next number, okay? Because the closest hundreds will be where it, come, where it came from and where it's going. It came from 100, it's going to 200, okay? So, six, what does our rhyme say? Zero to four, fall to the floor. Five to nine, climb the vine. Six is between five and nine, that means it will help this number to climb the vine that means the next hundred will be 200. Now that we've rounded off our hundreds number to 200 we go color a 200 ghost. So now you go to the second page and very neatly you color your 200 Ghost. Oopsie, I'm colouring awfully right now. Good. We've coloured that one in. All right, let's take a look at another one. Oh, I want it to be on the... I. Cool. Two. One. Two, good, two, one, two. Now we have to round off this number to the nearest hundred. Now, 212, two is my hundred that I will need to decide, does it stay as 200 or does it go to the next one, which is 300, okay? Because 212 on a number line will be between 200 and the next hundred, which is 300. Good. So the one after is the one that I look at. One. What does one tell this one to do? Will it stay the same or will it go to the next hundred? Zero to four, fall to the floor. Five to six, oh, five to nine, climb the vine. So zero to four, one falls between zero and four. So zero to four, fall to the floor. That means it falls to the floor. So this will go to 200, okay? Because our options were 200 and 300. 200 is the one we chose because it fell to the floor. So again, our answer is 200. We go to the second page, find one of your 200 ghosts, and we color that one in.
I'm going to round off one more with you and then I'm only going to roll the numbers and you will have to go round off by yourself. So listen carefully when I talk now. All right, third number. Let's see. Aye. Three. One. Six. Cool. Now, which one is my hundred? The three. Which one will tell the hundred whether it should stay or go to the next hundred? The one. Uh, 316 falls between 300, because that's where it came from, and it's going to the next hundred, which is 400. So our options are 300 and 400. The one is going to tell me whether it go, falls to the floor, which will be the 300, the lower one, or whether it climbs the vine to the 400, the higher one. Zero to four, fall to the floor. Five to nine, climb the vine. One is between zero and four. That means fall to the floor. So my answer is 300. Now I go to the second page. I find a 300 ghost and I color it in. All right, the aim of this game is to have an odd one out, an odd ghost out. So I'm going to roll the dice again, and then when you guys have rounded off, you can color the answer that you found. So your next number is one, two, Six. Round off the number 126. I'm just going to write my answers on here so that I can keep track. Oh, I almost did it on camera. So that I can keep track of which ghosts have been colored in. So round the, off the number 126 to the nearest 100. Good, once you've done that, you can pause the video, by the way, but I can't wait. Um, once you've done that, you go to the second page and you color a ghost with that number. I'm just going to draw the ghosts on a small piece of paper for myself here. One, two, three, four, five. That one's been colored. One, two, three, four, five. Those two. Good. Next number. Four. One. Five. Round off the number 415 to the nearest hundred. Round off the number 415 to the nearest hundred. <laughs> Once you've done that, go to the second page and color a ghost that has that number on it. Color a ghost that has your answer, your rounded off number on it. Good. Next number. You guys will have to pause if you don't keep up, but I have to speed this up because the video is taking a bit long and mm, to be honest, I have other videos to make. Six, one, come on man, one. <laughs> 611. Round off the number 611 to the closest 100. Pause the video while you do that. If you are finished, go to the second page, find a ghost with that number on it and color it in. 
Good. Then come back to this page once you are done. And your next number is five, five, five. <laughs> 555. Round off the number 555 to the nearest hundred. Pause. Once you have done that, come to the second page and colour in a ghost that has that number on it. So far, there should only be two open if you're doing it in order. Actually, no, let me not say anything yet. We still have a few to go. All right, next number. One. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Oh, yeah. One. One. Three. 113. Round that off to the nearest hundred. 113. Round that off to the nearest hundred. Then you go to the second page and you color in a ghost that has that number on it. All right, next number, two, four, three. Round that off to the nearest hundred. Once you are done, go to the second page, find a ghost with that number on it and color it in. One, I uh, can't choose that one, can't choose that one, two, two. The reason I said I can't choose that is because there's no more ghosts with that number on it, so I'm, I'm crossing it out. <laughs> okay, 122, round that off to the nearest hundred, and then you go to the second page and you color a ghost with that number on it. So let me just see something quickly. Okay, that one is out. Mm -hmm. That one is out. All right. Next number. Mm, sure. Two, nope, five, five. So 255. Round off the number 255 to the nearest hundred. And then you go to your second page and you color a ghost that has that number on it. You should have colored one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven ghosts by now. Good. Next number. Four. Three. Six. Four hundred and thirty-six. Round off the number four hundred and thirty-six to the nearest hundred. Go to your page with the ghosts and color a ghosts oh, a ghost with that number on it oh so that one's out now all right six one two Round off the number 612 to the nearest 100. Go to the second page and color a ghost with that number on it. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> I'm not going to carry on until there's only one ghost left. However, seriously, Miss Elizabeth, it's just... You know what you could do most probably? No, but our spaces are over. Maybe you can just write them here at the bottom, okay? I don't mind that you guys write them here at the bottom. 
Let's do another one. Five, two, two. 522, round that off to the nearest 100, go to the next page and go find a ghost with that number on it, color it in. Um. All right, next round. Four, okay, six, one, 461. Round that off to the nearest hundred, go to the second page, find a ghost with that number on it, and color it in. Good, that one is out of the race. You know what, I'm going to leave it here. You will have five ghosts left over that have not been colored in now it depends on how you chose to color them in but i'm going to help you with the answers kind of one of the ghosts that was not that should not be colored in is a 700 one of the ghosts that is not colored in is another 700 one of the ghosts that is not colored in is another 700 <laughs> One of the ghosts that is not colored in will be a 300. And one of the ghosts that is not colored in will be a 600. Okay. So there will be three ghosts that have the number 700 on them that are not colored in. There will be one with the number 300 on it that will not be colored in. And there will be one with the number 600 on it that will not be colored in. If you did it correctly. Okay, if you realize that you are still struggling with rounding off, practice that. And then next week when, oh, I don't know, if you guys come back to school, then obviously you can just tell me at school, listen, Miss Etzebet, I'm really still struggling with this. And we can put some time away to work on that. Otherwise, uh, we will make a plan. All right, if you guys are still struggling with that, I think this was a great activity. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's move on.